uh, what is architecture for you? Uh, I think architecture is really, I suppose, the act of like making the world that we live in. Uh, it's uh, the way I suppose we made we make the synthetic world. It's, it's the place that I guess uh, society, culture, uh, economics, politics intersect and, and becomes the physical stuff that, that that we inhabit. Okay, and what can architecture do? I think if architecture is is making artificial worlds, then then really architecture can do anything it, it, it wants to do. But I think uh, it's always important to to try and uh, remain like conscious of the fact that, that that it is a kind of artificial act. That it's not about kind of anything natural. It's not about anything which is true. It's about making uh, kind of fictions into a, into the real world. And so is your architecture speaking more to the people or more to the architects? Uh, I'd, I'd say that architecture really has to work on so many different levels, that it d always works on different levels, that it works as part of the, the canon, it works as, as a, a kind of discourse, it works as a fragment of the, the world around us, a part of the everyday landscape, um, that it's all of those things simultaneously. Um, how do you position yourself in the discourse of architecture? I'd say that uh, 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 the position that, that I like to take within architecture is, is really one which explores the, the, the role of architecture as a kind of uh, a mechanism or device which tells stories or turns stories into buildings, uh, in a sense, or into space. Um, and that those stories are stories about culture, stories about myth, stories about um, uh, kind of desire, stories about the, the world that we want to, the, the world that we want to make. And do you see yourself as part of a movement, or do you have any architectural references that are very dear to you? For me, I suppose one of the things which has always been interesting is is to try and expand the view of what architecture might might be and that, that not only means you know kind of engagement with art practice not only with uh, popular culture but also with I guess mining the history of architecture itself um, which is sometimes a, a great way of exploding the the, the current tastes and, and likes uh, of mainstream architecture uh, so some of those influences I suppose have been <coughs> things which at the time were completely unfashionable and totally revolting to, to, to most architectural culture. For example, like a fascination with, um, with postmodern architecture, which, uh, which you know, I've had for, for a long time, and it, that still seems to create many problems for, <laughs> for, 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 for a whole range of other architects. And the last question, uh, what is your preferred design method? I I think the way that I like to design is to really develop a kind of concept or, or, or narrative or kind of aim and, and that then the design then follows that. So it's not process driven in the sense of, you know, kind of uh, sort of drawing after drawing an exploration of form. It's much more about a kind of uh, synthesis of, of an idea and a kind of way of, of, of making that. Uh, kind of with a, to, to, to make that with a clearer outline would make it with a kind of uh, a clearer intent and uh, the mo really what, what I'm looking for is the moment that that an idea becomes a physical thing and it's that moment of transition from from one state of information to another state of information which is I guess what I'm always trying to to achieve.